Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I tried to make a more dramatic entrance to this video. I don't know if I did it, but <laughs> uh, this is a mess. Lots of coins here and then I will have to pick them all up. And remember, this is the second take, so I already had them all here and then I had to take them out. So, today I'm putting these coins all over the place because I'm going to make a new version of a film, of a video that I made before, which is my collection overview of copper fountain pens. And I thought that putting some pens on the table would be nice. However, these very nice pens that have different shades like this one or this one that is more beautiful or maybe this like this let me okay this one is better I can show them to you like this we are talking about Portuguese coins of 50 centavos when the currency was escudos so before the euro came these are coins from mostly 1970s i think from 1969 to 1979 okay this doesn't matter because i just wanted to make a nice background however i have to say i'm doing something a little bit not correct because these are not copper coins they are made of bronze but the color is similar and let's start it was just for the effect that i think it's nice so starting with my copper pens i have five copper pens that i'm going to show to you and let's start the first copper i think i will go in a maybe in a price uh, going up in the price range. The first pen I want to show you is a pen that, it, that was a special edition, as far as I could understand, uh, or a, a special or a limited edition, by Enso. This is a Enso pen, and this pen is called Enso Minimalist minimalist excess minimalist which is a pen that is very small as you can see a very small pen by Enso um, this comes from the United States it was very affordable you had to buy it was kind of a Kickstarter project you had to buy the pen before they were really produced and I bought it and I'm uh, I, I got it it was not expensive I got with the extra or the optional clip which is which I think it's nice and it is really a pocket pen and there you can see on that facet it says very in very small lettering and so so this is a, a pen small pen faceted and it has a slip cap like this the cap clicks on place and you take it out and it clicks on place also for posting. This pen is too small to write with, at least comfortably, without posting because it's really small and it doesn't reach this part of the hand. But when you post it, it becomes a nice sized pen and very well balanced. The pen is made of copper, as I told you. It has a number 5 Bock nib. This one will be hard to show because it is a, a black nib, but you can see there the Bock. Okay, now it's easier. I think you can see the Bock logo there, which is nice to see. A simple fit. And the pen comes like this. You can take this nib out, you just unscrew it and can replace it for another. It is a cartridge pen, obviously, and it is a cartridge only because the pen is so small it will not fill 
uh, a cartridge unless you use a Caveco cartridge, uh, a Caveco converter, the ones that are squeeze converters. The pen is really nice because I like copper, it's one of my favorite materials for pens. It will darken with age, it will get some patina and you can see this part that is protected from air, the, the threads on the section that are inside the barrel are much cleaner than the barrel itself. The only screw parts are these, the section into the barrel and the nib into the section, which is nice. The rest, it works just by uh, pressure. You do some pressure and you take it out with that. The, it has this strange thing that it makes this popping noise when you uh, unpost the pen and you cap it like this. All the, it, it doesn't make a sound when you cap it and not a lot of sound when you uncap it also. This small pen makes these, um, has the closing and posting mechanism based on these little rubber O-rings. If you take the O-ring out, you, this will not securely post or it will not securely cap. So I have to say this is, uh, it's not forever, this closing mechanism, because eventually the o-rings the rubber o-rings will get uh, will break so that's a thing they send extra o-rings with the pen and really o-rings are not hard to get not and they are not expensive uh, either from some hardware stores so this is the enso xs minimalist uh, copper fountain pen. Nice little thing, face it. The next pen on this list is the uh, well known pen from us all, the Caveco Lilliput. I told you this is an optional clip, so you can take it out. This is an optional clip, you can take it out also if you don't like it or you cannot, you can buy the pen without it. Uh, this is the Caveco Lilliput Copper. It says it is a Lilliput somewhere there. It is hidden by the clip. This one has a very, very nice color. The size of the pen is very similar to the Enso, as you may see. This one has a lot more use, so it has a lot more patina. This, the size is almost the same. But this one relies on a different uh, option, which is to have um, threads. So you can you can write you can try to write with it like this. It is very small also, but you can then post it and it becomes a nice sized pen. So it is of the same size as the end. So when they are uncapped, when they are kept, when they are uncapped, also about the same thing. And when they are posted, like this, you can see that the end so is a little longer. Uh, nice details about these pens is that the Caveco is also a cartridge pen. You can put the small uh, bulb Caveco, squeeze Caveco converters. You can see here you have, this is more, the, the more original version of it. The, the rest is with a lot of patina. The nib threads are the same as the Enso, so if you want you can exchange the nibs. And this is a Bok, this is a Caveco nib, which probably is a Bok also. In this case it is a Bok for sure. So you can exchange them. The writing experience will be similar, not that similar because this one is a black nib, this one is not. When they are black coated, they have more feedback, but you can buy black Caveco nibs if you want to put that in your Caveco pen. So this is a little bit more expensive 
but it is a nice pen. I will try to put links below as I usually do for the reviews and for stores or places where you may be able to buy some of these pens. I'm not sure if you'll be able to buy this one because it was a limited run. This one is available and there will be a link below. The next pen I want to show you is um, another pen. So we are talking about pens from the United States. Then we jumped to pens from uh, to a pen from um, Germany and now we go back to the United States and the pen from the United States the other one is this beautiful thing this is the Sean Design Pocket 6 so what we are having here is also a pocket pen very short almost the same size it is actually even a little smaller and this pen is, um, is an interesting uh, it has an interesting concept because it is small it is girthier than those two it has a design that is very well made in my opinion it has the cap it has one groove and the other one is not a groove is the place where it screws into the barrel and it has a screw there to post so you unscrew it and you screw it here to be able to write with it the biggest difference of this pen that's why it's called pocket 6 is that it has a number 6 Yovo nib so this one has a big nib which is fun this one doesn't have a clip and you can uncap it uh, open it and it will take also a cartridge or a short caveco, the, the, the bulb caveco cartridge, the small one, and it will work. Also this pen will develop a lot of patina, you can see here the color is more like original and it will be a fun pen. So it's nice because it is a small pocket pen but with a number 6 nib. Let me just show it next to the Lilliput and you'll see the difference. Not so much in the size, in the total size of the pen, but mostly on the size of the nib. I believe, I didn't try to do it, but the, the size is still the same. If you want, I think you can put here the clip, the bronze clip of not the Lilliput but of the Caveco Supra because Caveco Supra also has a, a bronze nib like this. It's not copper, it's bronze but when it ages it gets quite similar in my opinion. Okay, a little less light, I think it's better like this. Okay, so this is the Sean Design Pocket 6, a very nice, heavy, sturdy pen. As I told you, uh, links for the reviews and stores will be put down on the description. The next pen is a little bit more expensive, so I'm going more and more expensive, and I don't know if this one is still available, I don't think so, maybe some leftovers in some stores, and this is the Monte Grappa Fortuna Copper Mule. The Copper Mule came, was inspired in the, in the Moscow Mule, the, the, the drink, which is served in a copper mug. So they made this, it has the Monte Grappa logo there, and it has the, the 1911, no, not 1911, 1912 logo on the top of the cap and this little wheel in a very tight uh, clip. Uh, by the way, this one doesn't have any branding, so you know it is a Sean design because the design is obvious. This one has the branding and also it also has the Caveco logo on top. I'm not sure if you can really see it. It's there, kind of laser engraved. But it's not 
that easy to see because with the patina you can see it this one is not branded this one is obviously branded this is with the logo and Monte Grappa there it is a fun pen I'm not sure if it is 100% copper or if it has some lining some inner material which is a little different it doesn't look as heavy as it should be if it was full copper um, it has this section which I think it was silver coated the kind of coating it has it not the coating that is falling out it's kind of the the treatment the, the lacquer that goes over the, the the coating there and also the nib stained a little bit with the sailor ink that I put here this is a medium nib this is one of the older Monte Grappa nibs now they, this was a Bock nib they changed from Bock to Yovo so it's different now this one takes this proprietary Monte Grappa cartridge which is not that proprietary it is a international cartridge but this international cartridge has this nice advantage to have a little screw there that will allow you to screw safely into the section and then you can fill the pen without have, uh, taking the chance of the section to fall into the ink you can use convert you can use the converter you can use cartridges and you can put two one in in the section the other one just here on the barrel this one also gets a very very beautiful patina as you may see it is a screw cap you can post it I think it becomes a little bit top heavy it's not awful because it doesn't tip over like that but I think it is a very nice pen it is beautiful I really like it but as I told you I am kind of crazy for copper pens and now let's go to the last one I had one copper pen once for as a as a loan from Apple Boom, which was a uh, Y Studios, but uh, I don't have it anymore because it was a loan. I sent it back, but I I have to say that I dream of the day when Caveco will make a uh, Caveco Supra made of copper and also a Caveco Sport made of copper. Caveco Sport made of copper, I think it, it would be my ultimate Caveco pen. I it would be great. Now, let's go to the last one. So, United States, Germany, United States, Italy, and United States. This pen is an amazing, amazing pen. This is a replica made of copper of a Parker Senior Dufault from the 1920s. This pen was made by person in the United States called Chris Thompson and he made this pen out of copper. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful item. It is made to the same specifications as the vintage um, Parker Dufold. Some Parker Dufold, the earlier ones, didn't have the cap band. Then they had, when I asked for the pen, I asked with, uh, without the cap band. So he made these nice pen it has the engrave it's very heavy 128 and 128 grams it has the engraving on the side and I'm not sure if you will be able to see it but I made other videos about it I think on the review it is it will be easier no it has patina it shines so it's not easy but it says there Chris Thompson replica uh, and then it has the normal Parker the regular Parker Dufold engraving. Parker Dufold was never made in copper but he made this version. This pen is a functional piston uh, button filler as the original Parker Dufold. You just need to unscrew this blind cap and you should have access to the button here but the button is not installed right now because this pen that unscrews the cap is available it allows you also to put cartridges inside 
Now it has a Moonman cartridge because it fits well. It, is, it has the same system as Parker and it fits because it needs to have that step down with the threads there. You cannot fit a regular Parker converter or regular Parker cartridge. Only a short Parker cartridge, a full size one doesn't fit. So you, I went for this one because it's bigger than the shorter than the short Parker cartridge. But the pen came to me, uh, you can use it like this, but it came to me with a rubber sack glued here and with the pressure bar inside and you just press the button there and the pen works to fill. Now it doesn't have it installed, it's now a cartridge pen, but you, I, it's just a matter of installing the other part, it will work easily. The cap, I was talking about the clips, all these two have clips, optional clips, this one doesn't have, but I think you can fit a Kavec super clip, but then you'll be uh, using different brands. The Montegrappa has a clip, this one has a clip, but as the old Parker dual-fold pens, you can unscrew this part, it comes out easily, you can see it unscrews, and you just take this ring out, the, the ring which has the, this clip, which is the typical uh, ball point clip, and you can use it as, uh, without a clip. This clip is not a Parker original clip, it is also a replica and it is made of solid gold, which I think it is a very nice uh, touch, because it's made of gold, it's very soft and I don't use it to, uh, to fixate the pen into any pouch or a pocket. And it, it even doesn't make sense because the pen is too heavy to do that. So you can have the clip or you can take it out. It's very well made. This pen is amazing. And now for the nib. He could make the pen with the... It has a fine nib now. It came with a needle point. He could have the pen with vintage nib. So he would have to make the pen with the vintage feed and the vintage nib because he told me that vintage and modern don't, don't work well together. So if you have a vintage feed, you need a vintage nib, and the same for the clip for the feed, uh, for the uh, for the modern nib. And I chose this modern Parker Dufold nib, but it is the oldest version of the Parker Dufold nib because the first ones of the, the first nibs on the modern Parker Du Folds were like this. Two-tone nibs with the arrow engraved there, 18 karat gold, and the nibs um, had this arrow. Later they were made with the arrow and with a band, like, like a banner, waving banner saying Du Fold over the arrow. And now they change this kind of logo for an ace of spades. So it is a little bit different. Uh, I chose this modern nib because I already knew these kind of nibs and I like them. And I'm very happy with this pen. So these are my five pocket, my five, not pocket, my five copper pens so far. And as I told you, I'm waiting for Caveco to make a couple more co pocket pens. So this is how they look closed. And I will just put them here also and kept with the caps aside just for you to see. Let me see if everything is in the frame. Just for you to see how they look without the caps. Or maybe I should post them. Now that I'm talking about that, maybe it makes sense. The, the Parker Du Fold is not made to be posted. And I think that although you can post the, the Monte Grappa, I wouldn't do it because it, I don't need that. 
So let's put them the way I use them, which is these first three, the Enzo, the, the Enzo Excess Minimalist, the Caveco Lilliput, the Sean Design Pocket 6, all posted, the Monte Grappa Fortuna Copper Mool and posted, and finally the Parker Centennial Blue Full, no, not Centennial, it, it is the same size of Centennial, but it is a Parker a replica of a Parker Senior Blue Fold in copper. So you can see the Parker is the biggest one, it is the heaviest, and this is it. This is a, a video that I wanted to do because the other one was an old one that only had four pens. I didn't get this pen yet when I made the other video, and I decided to make an update. So this is the uh, current update to this sub collection of my fountain pen collection and I'm really happy with these. I hope you enjoyed the video this time with these different background with old Portuguese coins and this is it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to meet you here soon someday. Bye!